In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the uh, the column switch um, technique used for two column layouts. So you see here, I have a uh, the two column layout here with a background image for this column, uh, background image for this column. And so let me show you those columns really quick here. I believe this is it right here. Yep. Okay. So basically, I have in this example, the text here is on the left, pictures on the right, and then picture left, text on the right. And I'm setting these columns to anthem or these uh, sections to anthem image text half. Um, so that CSS class has to be on there. And then inside of the row settings, I'm making it full width and custom gutter gutter width zero. Again, the easiest way is just to copy these sections and to reuse them. But um, just to kind of explain what's going on under advanced design settings, this is where we're setting the you know equalized column heights and we're setting the background color for uh, column one. And then for column two, we're setting the background image. And then in our CSS for the anthem image text half for the image side, we're saying you know minimum height of 500 pixels. And that's what keeps this height right here so our background image always shows even on tablet and mobile. Um, and so you'll see here under the custom CSS that, or wait, uh, I'm sorry, on the uh, spacer here, I'm assigning image half. And then on the text, I'm assigning text half, or actually no half, sorry, just the, on the image spacer spacers here which are just dividers, I'm setting the image half to that. But the problem is when you uh, go down to mobile, that the default stacking order is this is going to stay up top in slot one, this is going to slide down slot two, this will become slot three, and this will slide down to become slot four. And so it'll be it'll be picture, uh, Oh, yeah, it's even, yeah, yeah, text, picture, picture, and then text. And that's not what I want. I actually want this picture to become first, then this text, and then this picture, and then that text. Um, so basically, I've made a class in here called Anthem 2 Column Switch. And if you take this class and you put it on the column that you want to switch the default order, which would be this first one. So the default order is this would be first, then this. But on mobile, we want to switch that. We want this to become first, this to become second. And so I'm going to go to that row, and I'm going to add in this class, Anthem 2 Column Switch. Refresh the page. And then now, on desktop, nothing will change, but when I go down to tablet mobile, actually, I think I'm supposed to put that on the section, actually, not the, uh, not the row. So let me redo that real quick. Yes, this is where it goes. So I'm going to put a space there, add it to this to this row here, the first row, uh, which is which is this first row up here, this row here. Sorry about that. Or section. I'm adding it to the section. Adding that class to the section here. I'm going to refresh. And then when I go down to Tablet Mobile, now we should have the picture first of the guy and then the text. There we go. Picture of the guy and the text, picture and the text. So again, you want to put that class on the section that you want the columns to switch. So I've integrated, I believe I've integrated this feature all throughout Anthem. So if you do just copy and paste sections, you should be good to go. Otherwise, that's kind of how you work that feature. All right, thanks again. Take care.